If you're an editor, I bet you had this problem. You're editing a video, maybe yours, maybe for a client, and you want to use an old clip in the edit. But there is no project file, or there is, but some source footage is missing, so you're kind of forced to use the old render. But when someone is speaking the line you need in the edit, there is a music underneath, and obviously you want to use a different music track now. Let me show you the plugin that solves that problem once and for all, because it makes exporting stem tracks as easy as pie. Is that an expression? I think it is, right? And we already released Clip Exporter, which lets you export clips from the timeline as individual files. Track Exporter, on the other hand, handles multiple exports, both for delivery and archive. Each group represents a video or audio clip that will be exported using only selected tracks. Let me show you how it works. For this video, I obviously want to export the video with everything from the timeline. But I will also export a WAV file just for voice, another one for music, and another one for sound effects. This is something that is usually referred to as stem tracks. Basically, different audio types are exported individually. This way you can tweak them later, and it's truly great for archiving purposes, or exchanging files with someone else to give them freedom to adjust one of those tracks separately. I could also have a situation where I have two versions of music for this video. In such a case, I will add another video group. Select all tracks and just deselect the track with alternate version of the music for this video group. Once again, I will split the audio into voiceover, music and sound effects, which is great for archiving and allows me to reuse this video later on for another project in different context. It also works great for narrative films, where you could create video groups with different versions of subtitles and where you can have multiple audio exports for dialogue, for sound effects, for ambient atmospheric sounds, and obviously music as well. By the way, you have these buttons to select all or deselect all to make the selecting process easier if you have many tracks. You can also delete a given group or add a new one. Once you're done setting the groups, you have to choose a preset for video export and for audio export. And if this list is empty for you, you just have to watch the setting up video that is attached to the plugin. I usually use a preset around 15 megabits per second for a full HD video that goes on YouTube and I like exporting audio as WAV files uncompressed because audio files are small in general so I don't really care that they are a little bit bigger than mp3 files would be. Then you choose output folder over here and either or not you want to start Adobe Media Encoder queue automatically. And that's it. Now all you have to do is click the run icon and it's done. And all of these settings are saved next to the project file. So once you close the project, reopen it, the setups of the video groups will be the same, will stay the same. It's a plugin I always wanted. I hope you'll find it as useful as I do. And so far users love Clip Exporter. Those are the first reviews that we got. And now I finish every cut to the point video with Track Exporter, giving myself more versatility, more options if I ever want to reuse it in a different context. So go and get your copy of the plugin and let us know what other plugin you would like us to create next. Have a good one and till the next time.